The film is a black and white classic, but in fact it does have color. Very early color. This film was made right on the cusp of the invention of color film. And they didn't quite have it completely invented yet. It um, had two of the three colors you need. The color missing is blue, which is a pity really, because the Virgin Mary with her distinctive blue, as you see in all of the paintings and all the depictions of the Virgin Mary, there's that, that sky blue, which is a little green. And uh, so they got the reds, they got, the, I forget what the other colors are, but they have sort of partial color. And they saved all those for the religious shots because obviously the religion is more important than the story. So the religious shots, the parables and so on, are in this kind of semi-color. And the other technique that they used is just to get some kind of variety, they would tint the film. It's black and white, but it's not black and white, it's magenta, the deep magenta, or there's a slightly ochre coloring to the thing. And I had to match all that when I telecined it. Um, uh, that's, that's another part of the story, is that when I finally got permission from Warner Brothers to work on this film, we went back into their vault in this 80-year-old celluloid. This old lady has been sitting in her cans for 80 years. Um, and actually, it, she ha it had been brought out in the 60s. They brought it out and they telecined it to video, which is a really ugly medium. But, and then it went back in the cans, and it took 10 days to defrost, to take out this ancient celluloid, put it in the machines, and by the way, it runs at a speed that no modern machines run at, so they had to telecine it, and the size of the sprockets is, doesn't exist anymore, so they had to kind of cobble together a system of telecineing this film in formats that don't exist anymore. And then there was the dust and scratches. The um, print that I was working with was after the ran the film all over the world, and all the prints come back, they picked the best, cleanest reels and kind of cobbled them together, and that goes into the vault. And that's what 80 years later I'm working with. So the different reels have different scratches. I spent hours, days, months on dust and scratches. And I didn't, couldn't get all of it. It's still an old movie, but I was, you know, the big jagged things. In one place, a big fly, you boom like that. What's that? What's that? Here, go wind back. Oh, there. There is a giant fly right there, spread eagled <laughs> on the frame with his wings, his legs, you know, the, the ancient corpse of this fly right there on one frame like that, you know, and recreating the colors. We have really great technology these days for really adding that wash that they had um, in the original print, these weird kind of different colorings they had, I can redo those here. And also the blacks have faded somewhat, so it's gray and white, not black and white, to get and deepen those blacks to their original intensity um, without losing the midtones and everything. It was another labor of love. It took about two years to curate the film, let alone prepare score for 60-piece orchestra. I guess there will be several or a handful of constituencies. There will be people who've been following my work outside of the police. That is a very broad-minded group. Um, then there will be police fans who, uh, you know, there's always a sprinkling of those who are expecting to hear a message in a bottle. They will be sorely disappointed. No, they won't. That might be what they're expecting, but what they're going to get is way cool. Then there is the old classic film buffs who could possibly come after me with pitchforks and I have all kinds of apologies to make to these people they I worship at the same altar that they do I I get these old films and now after being exposed to this one I really appreciate the art of that era that filmmaking era but I did cut this one up which is sacrilege and this film is 90 minutes which is endurable rather than two hours, 40 minutes. And all I can do is offer up my soul for them to eviscerate. On the other hand, I think I have heard from a lot of these buffs relief that this film can be seen and you don't have to sit through two hours and 40 minutes of it. There is relief that this great masterwork doesn't require such endurance that you can get it. You can ap appreciate the great artistry that went into these films in a, a, a version that isn't pain inducing to sit, you know, to make an orchestra sit and play for two hours and 40 minutes would be an act of cruelty. I wouldn't do that to a band. Well, I would, uh, 
But I mean, in a way, it makes this art form more accessible because all the films of that era were very long. I think they felt that they were in competition with opera, which would be a, a whole evening, and you're not going to make a movie unless it's going to take up your whole evening. And so they thought in those terms. People today, I think, will be uh, blessed by the shorter version. <laughs> <laughs>